Yeah. Woohoo! So she's good to go. Definitely a snake. You wouldn't want to take a bite from, but she is. Woohoo! Love my cobra. Ooh! Ooh! She's trying to pet herself. Ooh! Bushmaster! You do not want to take a bite from a bushmaster. Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. Easy, mama. Easy, mama. Woo! What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm just hanging out with Kameo, feeding the little baby crocodiles. As you guys know from the last video, we have these cold snaps coming through this time of year. And for little crocodiles like this, it's best that we bring them inside so they can enjoy the warmth and not freeze up in that cold water outside. When it gets down to the 50s, especially at the frost line in Florida where I live, it's real tough for these little guys. So we got a tank heater for all the little American crocs. And I'm just feeding them some little shrimp pole boys, make them nice and happy. Give them fat belly so they don't get skinny. And then I think we're gonna start putting crocodiles back outside because we're actually putting well water on a lot of the crocs outside. We just changed everyone's tubs out so they have nice toasty water. And Kameo found where I hide his hay here in the garage slash office. What are you doing, Kameo? What are you doing, big boy? You look good in that halter. Purple fits you. Mr. Guapo, the Cuban crocodile. Look how beautiful this crocodile is. And notice how his tail slightly wiggles like a like a cat about to pass. Oh! Oh my goodness, this crocodile is so strong. See, we got all that energy from getting all toasty throughout the night. And uh, he's looking good, look at that. He might be dark from being in a, in a tote and not being out in the sunlight, but he's still a sexy looking crocodile. I mean, look at his pattern. He's gotten so much bigger from when I first got him. I'm so proud of this little crocodile, but I gotta be careful, he will bite the crap out of me. Look at that beautiful spotting on the side of the face, that gold speckling throughout the body, and those very powerful, look at those legs. Look at this guy, he might be Hungarian, he's got such good legs. All right, Guapo, you got shrimp in here. Gotta get my hand back as quick as possible. We don't wanna get any bites today. Or really, any more bites. And just lock this up, get nice and secure. Now let's go see what's going on with Bridget, Smooth Front Cayman, and the Saltwater Crocodile, Anakin. <laughs> Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. Ew! What a beast! Future breeder. She's gonna be making some babies with that big redhead male that we got that we named Fred a long time ago. Oh, oh, relax. Let's go. Get out of my snake house. Give me your money. All right, we're gonna put this female back where she belongs, nice and easy. You're okay, mom. I'm sorry. I mean to upset you. Right back in the water. All right, little blue, the smooth front came in, going back. Nice and easy, buddy. I close this up and put a lock on it. The old head trick. Using her favorite type of head. Yeah, that's a good hat. There we go. The old hat trick. Oh, don't bite that. <laughs> The old hat trick. Throw the hat on the Cayman and you're good. Oh, she's a little leaky at the bottom. You got a little leak going on, baby. Beautiful, broad snouted Cayman. Let's go get her back in her enclosure. One of the most beautiful crocodilians on the planet. Found in Argentina and Brazil. This little lady is a tough one. Oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I don't want to let her go just yet. There we go. She was at an angle and I didn't want to let her go and have her twist and just bite my hand. I've been bit by Ziggy that way. So let's lock this up. Make sure it's nice and secure. All right, we got Anakin right here. Ooh, Anakin's already on to my business. Hey, buddy. Ooh, I don't want to get bit by Anakin. And this is an awkward angle. And yeah, there we go. Beautiful saltwater crocodile. Biggest reptile on the planet. Let's get him back into his enclosure. Soon enough. Anakin will be in this grout enclosure once we get Ziggy into her exhibit. So everyone's gonna get switched around once we get the new crocodile area set up and done. So we're gonna place Anakin right back to where we usually keep him in here. There we go, buddy. So you can hydrate, be happy. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna catch up that male cougar short caiman. Here we go. 
What's up, big boy? Woo! He's a big, beautiful, dark caiman. Look at that. What a gorgeous animal. And I was gonna use him for the breeding project, but you know, he's got such a dark head. They come with red heads, they come with dark heads, and he's a beautiful specimen, but I already have, oh, he's peeing on my pants right now. <laughs> I already have a big redhead male, and I got a redhead female, so might as well breed the two redheads and uh, give Stone this came in as a nice gift because he was nice enough to come through to my facility when I was recovering from my brain bleed and the whole snake bite situation. And I was probably about a month or so that he kept coming to this facility, driving over an hour there, hour back, just to make sure all my animals were squared away and everything was nice and secure. Because uh, he's my backup if anything happens to me, if I have to go to the hospital, you know? Woo, Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman, what a beast. Stone's gonna love this boy. Get himself a nice big Cayman. All right, guys, we're just gonna open this up and we're gonna drain it out. And then we're gonna catch Ziggy in the pond. There we go. Oh, she's a lot bigger than I remember. <laughs> Woo, Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy. <laughs> Not you, Miss Toothy. All right, let's get her back into her old exhibit now that the Cayman's out. And she can enjoy herself. Easy, mama. Easy, mama. Woo, Ziggy's back in. Awesome. Look at her, she's such a beautiful crocodile. So she'll just be in here for a little bit longer and literally by the end of the year we'll have her inside her new natural setup and you'll be getting your new setup too miss toothy look at her velociraptor what a beast of a crocodile all right beautiful people we're gonna be taking care of skittles the ethiopian cobra she is a cheeky cobra from africa and she is always very spunky it looks like she's not in shed anymore so she woohoo so she's good to go you can see she's always on fire Yo, hey, you're gonna shoot out of the cage? Where are you going? Hey, what the hell? Come on, get over here. Beautiful Ethiopian cobra, Naya Haja. Uh oh, relax, relax. You can see this snake is just gorgeous. Definitely a snake you wouldn't want to take a bite from. Good thing I wear nice thick boots. But she is, woo -hoo, I felt the air on that one. But she's a gorgeous snake. A gift from a friend of mine that retired from keeping venomous reptiles. You can see she's got purple on her, she's got red, she's got beiges. And she is a cranky, beautiful snake. This cobra could easily chomp down on me. And we don't want that with the cocktail of venom being an African cobra. It is a nasty, nasty bite. Pain and possibly a death sentence. Uh, she's got old mulch in here. I'd like for this to be a lot cleaner and fresher for her. So I'm actually going to do a deep clean. I'm going to get that water out, get new mulch, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Not doing a slit, because it's my crotch. Got a nice clean enclosure, fresh mulch. Ooh, ooh, look at her mouth open, like a king cobra. Ay, ooh, trying to bite the hand that grabbed you, huh? Beautiful girl, love this lady. Let's get her right back. Ooh, oh yeah, I get, she really doesn't like the holding receptacle. Beautiful Ethiopian cobra from Africa. One of the gnarliest cobras on the planet. Locked and secure, good to go, cranky snake. Now we're gonna be dealing with the albino monocled cobra right here. This snake, has gone to the bathroom all over the place. We wanna make sure he's got nice, clean mulch and fresh water. Let's take out Sunshine, the father of all the baby albino monocles that were produced. Come here, Sunshine. Come here, Sunshine. All right. Oh, he's bit the hook. All right, Sunshine, nice and easy. Ooh, beautiful albino monocled cobra. Gorgeous looking. Look at that. What a beast of a snake. Love my cobra. Ooh, hello, hello. I see you. Beautiful Asianic snake. India, throughout all of Asia, you can find monocle cobras. And this guy is just a beautiful albino. Stay in there, where are you going? Come here. Get back in there. There you go. Super easy, no big deal. Anyways, let's get this glass out, clean up the enclosure, get some fresh mulch, and I'll see you guys in a split. Oh, actually, I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm doing it because I'm wearing my stretchy pants. Too stretchy. Ow. Oh, oh, a little bit cranky. Hello, sunshine. What a beautiful array of love. Oh, very defensive snake. Can I have your tail? Thank you. 
Hello, sweet boy. Ah, the father of so many babies. Such a proud father. A gorgeous looking albino monocled cobra. There we go, nice and easy. Close that up, put a lock on that baby. Locked and secured, good to go. All right, next we're gonna be dealing with the forest cobra. This is my female forest cobra. She's right here in the back. She just came out of shed and she's looking really good. So we just gotta clean her up, give her fresh mulch because she's going to the bathroom all over the place. And you can see her tail is actually stabbing into my skin right now. They have a modified scale that's like a thorn. And they do that to deter predators. So the predator is distracted by that thorn and not trying to just eat the snake right away and kill it. Come here. There we go. Woo, this snake actually looks like an indigo if you didn't see the front half. It's got that jet black coloration. Beautiful forest cobra. And she's not as gnarly as your typical forest cobra. She's actually pretty sketchy because she doesn't hood up at all. She likes to just bite, which makes her a very, very dangerous snake to work around. Ooh, because I prefer my snakes to let me know when they're upset. That's why it takes a very, very good ability to read the snake. So, ooh, she's trying to bite herself. Woo! All right, let's not play too many games with her. That's the problem, see? She does not like to hood up. She just tries to bite everything that gets close to her. So that makes her very, very dangerous. And she is a large cobra, in fact. Don't bite, oh, see, look, she's biting herself. Relax, mama, relax, nice and easy. Huge forest cobra. That's the largest true cobra found in Africa. Whew, let's clean her enclosure. She's got a big old shed right here. Beautiful, look at that. Look how perfectly straight her belly scales are. Better be nice for so she doesn't try to bite me in the chest again. Hello, sweetie. I wish you would hood up, but instead you just try to bite. Look at that beautiful, thick, 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 thick girl. You are crazy. Oh, don't do it again. Oh, what is with you guys and biting that handle? You guys are nutty. All right, go easy on me. Right in there. Beautiful new clean enclosure, fresh water. All for you, baby. Maybe we'll get you a boyfriend in the future. If you ask nicely for Christmas. Locked and secured, good to go. Let's go take care of the Bushmaster! Let's go. You know, they used to call me Bushmaster back in high school. <laughs> No, they called me dweeb. Anyways, let's get this beautiful Bushmaster right out of the enclosure. Just came out of shed, went to the bathroom. Just like a big, yoy! Just like a big arboreal snake. They will go and shed and poop at the same time, like once a month. She just struck out at me because she had a feeding response. Now that she's out of shed, she's ready to go. She wants food. This snake's actually very chill when you start to handle her and she knows everything's okay. But when she thinks that she's getting food, the feeding response on a Bushmaster, no matter what species it is, is extremely dangerous. They have heat-seeking pits, and if they think you have food, they will shoot out like a missile and strike you with those fangs. 85 to 95 fatality rate with the venom. You do not want to take a bite from a Bushmaster. And uh, she's actually a fairly chill snake. She was just thinking I had food. It's okay, mama. Nice and easy. We're gonna get this little pineapple snake right into her can. And we're gonna clean up her enclosure so she has a nice place to go back into. Rip it open, you can see it's like spikes. Every single scale is like a spike. All right, we got a nice clean enclosure for her. Let's just gently get her out of here, nice and calm. Always wanna be good to my babies. She's not as hectic as the covers are, but she's still a dangerous snake. But if you make the wrong move, she will lay you in a coffin. Beautiful snake. Love myself a Bushmaster. My favorite species of viper on the planet, the world's largest type of viper, literally getting upwards to 12 feet long from the Amazon, South America. Right in there, mama. Gorgeous snake. I mean, look at that, like a dragon. Whew. Always gotta pay attention to the head of the snake even though I know her. You never know when they're gonna turn around and strike out at you. Locked and secure, good to go. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I still got plenty to clean, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams and stay passionate about what you love. If you're not doing what you love, then you're just wasting time. Time is precious. Don't waste time. Listen to me. Do what makes you happy. Oh, you're already doing what makes you happy? Good, that's good, all right. That's, I'm, okay, that's, that's it, I'm just making sure. Love you guys, see you on the next one, bye.
using her favorite type of hat.